One day I was browsing the dark web to find some interesting stuff, when I spotted a website which had a lot of videos. I found one interesting looking entry called, spongebobwepnow.mp4. I clicked on the download button and it took me to a media file link to download the file listed in the entry. The file was downloaded so I opened it in media player. The entire video looked like it was recorded on a VHS. The title was, The Under Death. Creepy. The sound is random high-pitched noises that sounded similar to a dial-up sound with a faint static buzz for the full episode. It didn't have any credits after the title. It went straight to the episode, with SpongeBob's pineapple house at night while a thunderstorm is heard, even though there weren't any clouds to be seen. SpongeBob was sitting on his inflatable armchair looking down all forlorn. The image started to glitch and twist, and a loud distorted sound played which scared me and made me jump. A black screen appeared and static can still be heard. After a few seconds, it once again played the loud glitching sound with a static-like image that revealed to be SpongeBob smirking and facing the screen, staring ahead with black eyes and red glowing pupils after a split second. The image kept glitching on itself a lot. It would be stable for a few seconds, but then would invert and change colors, and flip horizontally and upside down, and would eventually get distorted out of proportion before going back to normal. SpongeBob says something in reverse and his voice sounds buzzed and weird. He then spoke something that I could almost understand. Then it cut back to black and strange blurry words appeared on the screen. It looked like Chinese but I might be wrong. A deep voice said. After more glitched sounds and static, the video ends. What did I saw? Sorry that I haven't posted in a while. I was looking through the under death, finding any secret messages, but I couldn't find anything. I went on some dark web forum and asked if anyone had seen the episode I've seen. A few minutes later I got a response from a guy. Here is what he said. The episode you've seen was some kind of Spongebob media that never was supposed to be found. The creator of this small series is an unknown employee that got fired from Nix Studios. My guess is that he got a copy of the file and uploaded it to Mediafire. I asked him if he had more episodes or more from this small series and he replied with, No. A day after that I got a private message from the guy that replied about that episode. This is what he said. I found something that might have to do with the series I was talking about a few days before. To the message a link was attached to another Mediafire link. I clicked on the link and it took me to the page where to download a file called, spongebobweep2doubt.mp4. I downloaded it and opened it after the downloading process finished. The episode began without the intro just like the other one. The episode had the same look, like the other one where it looks like it was from some VHS. The episode was named, Spongebob's Doubt. It then cut to the title card credits but the names were replaced with triple question marks. It even said special guest at the end, but it also never said who. The episode started with Spongebob watching TV but the colors were darker, and the sound was absent except for a faint static noise. This went on for nearly a minute and then I got bored so I wanted to fast forward a bit, but then it showed the TV screen. The episode also contains bad grammar at least at the beginning of it. A voice was saying. We interrupt this news broadcast for channel difficulties. Keep on this channel. When he said channel the voice stuttered and the screen started shaking. Channel for more updates. I don't think the TV will be back pretty soon. Said Spongebob. The TV screen went to static and a different voice said. You need to know the truth before more damage can be done. Where can I find it? Asked Spongebob. The TV then answered to Spongebob's question like it knew he was talking to it. Unfortunate. I can't provide them more info on this. You will have to find it yourself. The screen then cut to the Spongebob theme song but slowed down and the colors were all black, the music was reversed and slowed down as well. 
It went okay until the part of SpongeBob jumping on the letters and then it cut to color bars, and the same voice from before was speaking but more distorted, loud and demonic. He said, The truth. The truth. It's a blood. It's important for your sanity and other things. My identity is not important as much as the truth. Figure it out. The screen then cut to SpongeBob staring at the screen wide-eyed looking surprised and confused at the same time. His eyes were more red like if he didn't sleep in a while, his body had a lot of other small holes along with his normal ones. The camera slowly zoomed in on SpongeBob and after a minute he said, I know what I must do, I must find the truth. Then the episode ends. I was more confused, what did he mean by the truth? Could the truth have some kind of deep meaning? Is the truth a secret Nickelodeon is trying to hide? My research continues, I checked my post on that forum and saw a brand new message from the same user that sent me the SpongeBob's Down episode. He told me he found something that could help me. It was another Mediafire link. The link sent me to a brand new file called, Spongebob UEP3CHR.MP4. I knew this is another clue in this series. Once the download finished, I watched it and this is what happened. Before we actually begin with describing the video, let me tell you that the experience was, much different. The episode began with the title card saying, Chrome. The background was the one from SB129, except in black and white and the VHS effect was present again, and an extra distortion effect added. The sound was just like in the first episode, random pitched audio tunes, but they were more strange and off. The episode started with SpongeBob walking but the scenery was really dark. The sound was a slight ambient noise. SpongeBob stopped and started looking around. The camera showed a close-up of SpongeBob looking left and right with a slightly confused expression. The scene cut to SpongeBob's point of view while looking through the dark scenery. After a few seconds the image cut back to SpongeBob still looking around. Then suddenly, the screen returned to SpongeBob's point of view but this time, the image was inverted and fuzzy. Also a message flashed on the screen that I swear it said, stop watching. And the sound became distorted. SpongeBob was still looking around with a bit of confusion but he smiled and started walking, backwards. The audio became really creepy and loud. The screen flashed, you have been warned. Along with a black and white inverted image of SpongeBob staring at the screen. It cut to black and a loud bang was heard which made me almost jump. After 10 seconds of nothing but pitch black, the inverted and fuzzy scenery from before popped up on the screen but without the distorted audio. The screen stayed like this for half a minute but the moment I was about to close the video thinking that was the end, banging noises became louder and louder. Then the camera panned to the right, revealing the black and white demonic SpongeBob staring close with a neutral expression that got me. The background started glitching and the music became loud. The video was over. It was the strangest episode out of all of the three ones that I watched, it also gave me ARG vibes. 